Grace and peace, everybody. It is Kimberly here. And in this video, we're going to be talking about the difference between spontaneous and prophetic choreography. Welcome to Free Dance Ministry Resources. The purpose of this channel is to provide you with videos, demonstrations, choreography videos, product reviews, listen, basically anything that is going to shift your dance ministry and your ministry in the worship arts to the next dimension. So listen, please hit that subscribe button if you have not already subscribed. And if you are a subscriber, listen, you have been such a blessing to me. This page is growing by 200 subscribers or more a month and is again an absolute blessing. I read all of your comments. I try to respond to everything within a matter of about 48 hours or so. So do me a favor, if you already subscribed or even if you're clicking that subscribe button now, hit the like button and let me know that you find these types of videos a blessing to you. All right, so let's get into the video. Oftentimes, when I'm talking to dancers, I'm asked the question, you know, what is the difference between prophetic choreography and spontaneous choreography? I'm often asked, can prophetic choreography be choreographed? Sometimes I'm asked, can spontaneous choreography or spontaneous dancing be prophetic or is it only prophetic? Well, listen, I have two basic definitions that I pray will be a blessing to you. When I studied it, it these two keys, I would call them, really helped me to, um, well, it helped provide clarity, especially since I teach prophetic dance ministry and spontaneous dance ministry. These two keys that I'm going to share with you are things that I actually teach at Christ Center for Dance. And again, I pray that they blesses blesses your dance ministry. Or if you are a dance ministry leader, please feel free to share this information with your ministry. All right. So listen, first thing I want to do is I want to share with you some definitions because defining things just make everything so much clearer for me. So when we define spontaneous, the, this is the definition that I um, found. Proceeding from a natural feeling or native tendency. Another definition is arising from a momentary impulse. Another definition is that it's controlled and directed internally. That's important. Also, it's not, um, it's not apparently manipulated. All right. So it's something that that's not manipulated, something that's kind of fresh, you know, hasn't been touched or anything like that. All right. So based off of the definitions that I just read, we find that spontaneous choreography, we can, we can say that is not, um, choreography that has been manipulated in any way. It originates from a natural impulse or a natural feeling, a native tendency. And it's, it comes from within it's controlled and directed from within. So it is your expression, your heart, um, shining forth, so to speak, your heart's response to the father, right? That's one of my quotes that I say that dance, my dance is my heart's response to the father. Amen. So examples of spontaneous dances are in the Bible. We have David who is not necessarily, who was not necessarily a dancer, but yet, you know, thinking about all that God has done for him and being, you know, being now king, if you um, haven't read it, it's in Second Samuel. I would definitely encourage you to read about David. His, I mean, that whole, that whole um, journey of bringing the Ark of the Covenant back into the city of David is just a powerful study right then and of itself. But listen, so David was not a dancer, but yet he danced before the Lord. The Bible says, with all of his might. He did a spontaneous praise dance. It was coming from within. It was his response to what the father had done for him, for his love for the father, how appreciative he 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 was um, 
at, you know, with what the father had done. And another example is Miriam. Miriam, after crossing the Red Sea and everything that she had gone through, listen, Miriam was over 80 years old when Exodus 15, 20 was, you know, manifesting where she took the timbrel in her hand and led the woman out with praise dancing. Amen. So listen, it was something that came from her being her heart. It was her voice. And because of her act of faith, I would say, and her courage, she was able to lead other women. Literally, they just went, the Bible says the women went out after her and Miriam not only dance, but she played an instrument, right? She played the tambourine, which is, which was a the timbrel, which was a hand drum. She also sang. So can you imagine that? Anyway, <laughs> I love talking about that. Beautiful examples of spontaneous dance. Now let's move on to prophetic dance, right? Prophetic dance. If you look at Revelations 19 and 10, it reads that prophecy is the testimony of Jesus. It actually says um, the spirit of prophecy, uh, the testimony of Jesus is the spirit of prophecy, right? So prophecy is the testimony of Jesus's heart to his people. I often and always encourage dancers to do what? Those of you that have heard any of my teachings or watched any of my videos, when I talk about prophetic dance, I always encourage the dancer to study prophetic ministry, right? If you are, if you believe that you are a prophetic dancer or one that moves in the prophetic in any vehicle, right? Because dance, is, dance can be a vehicle for the prophetic, then you need to study prophetic ministry, right? So based off of just a basic definition of prophetic dance or prophecy. Prophecy reveals the heart, the mind, the intents of Jesus, of the Father. Okay. Again, prophecy reveals the heart, the mind, the intents, the will of the Father. It is God, Jesus, you know, speaking. He is speaking. When you do a spontaneous dance, you are speaking, right? Now, can a spontaneous dance be led by the Spirit of God? Yes, the Holy Ghost could prompt you to encourage you, leading you to open up and express and dance in the liberty and freedom that Jesus has set you free in, right? <laughs> the Bible says that, you know, we ought to show forth the praises of him that has called us out of darkness into his marvelous light. So can the Holy Ghost lead you to do a, a spontaneous dance? Absolutely. Does that mean it's prophetic? No, because God is not saying, I am saying this to this person, personal prophecy, or to this nation, or to this people group, or to this congregation, or to this city. Amen. So you really have to understand the difference. And the easiest way is who is speaking? Is it your heart? Which is, you know, God, God wants worshipers. God wants praisers, right? There's nothing wrong with spontaneous dance. Or is it God himself speaking? right? Another way um, that I like to encourage um, prophetic dancers or people that are moving in the prophetic um, to kind of think about this too as well is after you do a prophetic dance or even before and you tell someone, you know, I'm going to, you know, the, the Lord has, you know, given me <laughs> a prophetic dance. However you, you say it, the person that you're talking to could say, okay, what is God saying? You can't say, I don't know, right? If you are a prophetic person, then you know what God is saying. God has given you a prophecy. So prophetic dancers are one that I believe that will mature to the point that not only will they be able to minister a prophetic dance, but they will be able to also give you the word of the Lord. That if if they asked for it in an in a audible form, right? So you can hear it. You can say it, a verbal form. You should be able to do that. Amen. So listen, I hope that you found this information a blessing. I hope you found it useful. Listen, this is the second time that I'm doing this video and I am really tired, but y'all know I love you. <laughs> and I wanted to do this video because I wanted to answer this question because I do get asked this question a lot. Again, there's... 
in my in my book, right? This is just Kim's personal opinion. There's no hierarchy with spontaneous and prophetic, you know, granted, you know, people may say, well, prophetic is like the highest, you know, listen, it's relative to the person, but I believe that the spontaneous dance and the prophetic dance are both important to the dance minister. And it is certainly important that we understand the difference because I believe that God is calling the dance minister into a new era of dance ministry, not just the season, but a new era era, um, which means that we have to learn more, we have to study more, we have to dig deeper, and we have to um, really open our minds up to hear what God is saying in this new place. Amen, guys? So listen, again, if you have never subscribed, hit that subscribe button, and I have more videos coming for you in the next couple of weeks. God bless you guys.